Well, there you have it. For the first time in nearly two decades, a new mayor is running the Queen City tonight. Right now, we are taking a live look over Buffalo City Hall, where a new era of leadership has now begun. And good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. Mary Alice is off this week. Byron Brown made his resignation official as Buffalo mayor today. He begins a new career as president and CEO of Western Regional Off-Track Betting. And tonight, Two on Your Side has live team coverage for you with Channel 2's Nate Benson and our Andy Payton reporting on this story. Let's begin with Nate, who has reaction from Buffalo City leadership. Hey, Nate. Yeah, good evening, Scott. For the first time in nearly two decades, the Common Council will be working with a new administration on the second floor of City Hall. If you were to judge the scenery of downtown Buffalo Tuesday night, you would have never thought it was a big day. It was, after all, a crisp fall night. And under the twinkling lights and gentle breeze of Niagara Square, with new signs in the hallway, new names on the door, a familiar tune went through my head. For the times, they are a changing. Item number one, resignation of mayor. Motion to receive and file. Seconded by council member Rivera. And with that, the council moves on to other business of the day. Motion to adopt. As his chair sits empty in the council chambers, now acting mayor Chris Scanlon's former colleagues look ahead to his administration. Change is good. It's good. It's fine. It's great. Change is good. Yeah. It really is. It's an opportunity. Not a bad thing. The city of Buffalo business continues. We wish the mayor well in his future endeavors. As for what some council members hope those future endeavors are. Well, numbers don't lie, so I'll say that. There is a issue with money a little bit, and uh, we'll, we'll see where we end up with uh, from the budget. But from my perspective, it looks like we have a little bit of a shortfall to overcome. The fiscal situation is something that this council will have to hit head on. But as now former Mayor Byron Brown said in his farewell address. I say that there is no fiscal crisis. There are fiscal challenges. Earlier today, former Mayor Byron Brown said there is no fiscal crisis. Do you concur with that? Or do I absolutely do not occur with that. And I think that we knew that we've had a fiscal crisis for a number of years, but the American Rescue Money saved us. And getting to solutions for those fiscal challenges or other key issues for the city could get tricky with only eight active members on the council for now. Compromise is key. That means you have to get there's you could still get to five by having eight members. Mitch Nokowski just said, you know, compromise will be key with an eight-person council. Are there any issues that could stall progress here in the council? I think it depends on what the issue is. Um, I think compromise is key in government anyway. It's about the art of compromise. That's what government is about. Lovejoy District Council member Brian Bowman is now the de facto council president. He says he wants to see budget negotiations start before the end of the year. I'm Nate Benson. Our team coverage tonight continues with my colleague Andy Payton.